so anyway, it's Calvin again. Um, my point is, is that when your family is the one beating you down and oppressing you, all for the well-meaning cause of societal respectability, and probably because they had no clue how to deal with this shit. Um, what happens is, is you have to find ways to survive as best you can. Um, and you have to have ways to come to terms with yourself that, um, because you're not getting any of that kind of reinforcement from other people. So, really, you know, <coughs> well, I'm not sure I can explain all that, not in a 10 minute video anyway, but, but beyond that, the point is, is like all through time, when now, now, whenever I have incidents of like being served or some, some getting called into question or getting screamed at in the ladies room, which has happened and chased out, um, um, you know, and the way I've dealt with that so far to date, um, I mean, nothing bad's happened, and, you know, I get through it, and, um, but it upsets me a great deal, and what happens is that I get, I get, um, I really get knocked off my square by things like that, um, and I get disempowered, and I let other people, you know, power the situation, because I'm just recoiling, or I'm not, I don't want to be confrontational, but there's other ways to handle that, and I realized that that where that where the sort uh, where a large sort of the discomfort was coming from, when um, I get dysphoric and when people call me out or demand explanations on the spot of why I am the way I am, as if it was their right to suddenly demand that I justify myself. Um, that what happens in those situations is. is um, because of all these older, old mechanisms, anytime that happens, I'm like right back there at that spot, man. They're not the people who I'm interacting with at this point in time. I'm back there to those, those old, to that kid, you know. So it's old, old, old crap. So, the, you know, that made, so, you know, what I did then was take, the whole world and demonize them, you know, because my parents don't exert any control over me, per se, you know, at age 49, they're not, you know, they're not part of the picture, but they don't have to be any anymore, because the model of, okay, duck, dodge, subterfuge, parents can't deal with it, get oppressed, so bleed out sideways somewhere else, you know, um, t tell myself mental stories, you know, about, about, why I'm okay, and why the world is wrong, and why the parents are evil, you know, I just, now I'm the torch carrier for that, it's the parental super ego crap that gets lugged around, and now the whole world is the, is the oppressor, you know, and so it's been like that for such a long time, so, so in order to make any progress, what, what, what needs to be done is to, like, break that down, before I can even come to terms with the present, or like, you know, how to, to, to move forward without being so encumbered, you know, that, I think that will go a long way to relieving the pain, and that, and that just involves really, you know, empowering myself in, in those situations, you know, um, like I was thinking about the next time in the bathroom when, um, the weird looks start happening, the, the, uh, the bad vibe, or or something more more overt. I just go. I just want to go up to people and say, I just want to thank you for making my bathroom experience so pleasant. You know, stuff like that. Um, but I don't want to get. You know, I don't want to incite um, adverse reactions against me either. Um, I don't know if I made my point clear enough there, but there's a lot of. There's a lot of um, defense mechanisms that need to go the way, you know. And when you live a double life for so long, 
you kind of lose track of where the borders of one, you know, where one thing ends and the other one begins, where where they intermix. They're they're intertwined. You know, my life story in my own head has had to be significantly different. You know, I couldn't, I didn't. You don't have a lot of things to reference. You don't have any reliable models to look at. I didn't when I was coming up, you know. There was no YouTube. There was no um, an, um, gathering of, of um, people in the same boat, you know, to even lean on, even in cyberspace. There was no cyberspace when I was coming up. Um, so... I don't know what the point of that is, but it's but that's where my head went today, and it was so incredibly painful. It made me incredibly angry, you know, at the world of my parents. And see, see, it's not, it's not, it's not me. I'm not transitioning anywhere. In 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 one real sense, there is no transition to somewhere else. At least not in my case, and and I can't speak for others, but. It wasn't me that needed rectifying. It still isn't me that needs rectifying, per se. Um, the mismatch, the disconnect, the whatever happens is there. It, 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 to a certain degree, in actuality, the world is not set up for that. You know, what happens is other uh, the inadequacy of the system, the inadequacy of other people to um, comprehend, to understand, to accept, to deal with it, to do whatever they do, you know, their problem becomes your problem, you know, and um, it's, but it doesn't, but that shit doesn't originate with you, it doesn't originate with me. Now, I am thinking about transitioning, but um, it's not because I have to come into alignment with anything per se. It's for more um, uh, congruity in the world. The congruity of my inner self. Um, to some degree, at my age, I don't know how much that's possible. Because, well, it just goes back to the same stuff I was saying. Um, because um, the path that I was on got so X'd out that, you know, I, I have no way at this point in time of even um, remembering or beginning to envision, you know, how that would have played out. So there's a lot of stunted growth there. There's a lot of possibilities that were shut down. And I will never know. You know, I can't, I cannot, you know, there's just, you know, if I was 15 when I embarked on this journey, I would have found out who I would have become. There would have been no, there wouldn't have been able, the doubt that existed in my mind for so long wouldn't have been able to take place, you know. It only happened because of stuffing, because of hiding, because of want not, wanting not to create discord, because because of wanting to you know, please parents and family and the world and get along, you know, without having a lot of extra hacksle thrown into the mix because, oh, well, this is the way things are and this is what you do, you know. Um, so, you know, when, when that got shut down, wh however that would have, I have no idea, you know. Now, you know, to pick up the pieces here, I just try to assume where I was.